wars, love, conquests, and kings, the ancient city of Hebron has seen it all. Follow me on a journey of merely a few thousand years. Abraham, the forefather of the Jewish people, comes here to bury his beloved wife, our mother Sarah, and buys this land, a field and a cave. Here, King David ascended to the throne for the first seven years of his reign. His great-grandmother, Ruth, the Moabite princess, is buried here, a convert girl who left everything to join the Jewish people. Herod, king of Judea, built this shrine on top of the forefathers' burial site. Fast forward to the Middle Ages, Maimonides visits the Holy Land. I left Jerusalem for Hebron to kiss the graves of my forefathers in the cave of patriarchs. End of the 15th century, Ferdinand and Isabella expel the Jews from Spain. Many of them joined their brothers and sisters in Hebron and built this synagogue. 1929, Jews are massacred by a local mob and the survivors expelled, only to return 40 years later after the Six Day War and never leave again. This city, ladies and gentlemen, is the cradle of Jewish civilization. But don't let the facts confuse you. In the inverted world of UNESCO, you can throw the Bible and history books into the garbage and tear the fathers and mothers from their children. King David, come on. Everyone knows you were the Palestinian Mufti. See, this madness has a method. It's part of a bigger picture a new kind of modern-day anti-Semitism. Make believe that Jews have no roots here. They are occupiers and colonialists. Then legitimize jihadist terrorism by glorifying them as freedom fighters. Israel is a terrorist state. We've been warned. Those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it.